Now from the pages of Assist News Service, Scott Kramer. This is Scott Kramer. Our first story comes from a troubled part of the world, Pakistan. Assist has received word that three Muslims convicted of killing a Christian in Pakistan because the Christian would not convert to Islam last year have been given life sentences. Many see this as a real victory for religious freedom. A court convicted the three for the March 9, 2010 slaying of the man. The dead man's brother tells us that he thinks that there were other motives involved in this horrible killing. He says that Muslim businessmen were jealous of the man's success as a potato merchant in the region. The man was beaten to death with iron rods. By the way, both the dead man and his brother had received death threats if they did not denounce Christianity six months before the man's murder by the extremists. Our next story comes from London, where churches in the United Kingdom are appealing for U.S. churches to send mission teams to help them make the most of the London 2012 Olympics. Across the United Kingdom, churches are planning to use next summer's Olympic Games as a chance to reach out to international visitors and their own communities. All this is being done under a group called More Than Gold initiative that has the support of all the main denominations. The group's leader, John Burns, says, quoting, The world is coming to London and the churches here are getting ready, but we need hundreds of mission teams from the U.S. and elsewhere to help us make the most of this historic opportunity. Over four million international visitors will be converging on London. One response from More Than Gold is a plan to hand out three million cups of cold water. There will also be outreaches at main transport hubs and pedestrian corridors. At the same time, over 3,000 churches are expected to use the games to reach out to their communities. This will include festivals with big screen showing the Olympics, plus music, food, and activities for all the families. Burns says that the opportunity is too vast for the churches of the UK alone. Our plea to American believers is to come on over and help us. Many visitors will have no idea who Jesus really is, and that is equally true of many who live here, says John Burns. Let's join hands in unity to reach out with the good news. The London Olympics run from July 27th through August 12th of next year. And finally, one of the great Christian leaders has gone to be with the Lord. A sister's learned that John Stott, the man we all know and loved as Uncle John, died in London. He will be sorely missed, but his legacy of service to the Lord will last forever. Stott was a British pastor and author and well-known Christian statesman. He died at the age of 90, but had continued his ministry until just about three years ago. He was born in 1921 and attended rugby in Cambridge. He went on to be a pastor at the famous All Souls Church in London. Over the years, millions heard his sermons and read his books on Christianity. But even though, in a way, he was an international Christian media star, Stott remained humble and a true gentleman. He wrote over 50 books, many of them bestsellers, but instead of buying a large house on the hill and retiring, he elected to use the resources to build a foundation and promote missions throughout the world through pastor training and support. Along the way, he wrote some of the most important evangelical documents of the 20th century. Some of his texts are considered to be some of the most carefully crafted works relating to religion and evangelism written in the past 100 years. When word of his recent passing reached the Reverend Billy Graham, Graham was quick to issue a moving statement, quoting Graham, The evangelical world has lost one of its greatest spokesmen, and I have lost one of my close personal friends and advisors. I look forward to seeing him again when I go to heaven. The words of Billy Graham. Yes, the Reverend John Stott has gone to a well-deserved reward. We mourn his passing, but celebrate his life and works. I'm Scott Kramer. See you next time. For more on the world of religion, check out assistnews.net and join us here on YouTube.